Another important aspect in maintaining our physical health that people might not associate with being physically healthy is the relationships and the people that we're spending our time with. A fact that I found really interesting is that researchers believe that we spend 80% of our time in the presence of others. So it's important to maintain those positive and healthy relationships because we ourselves are so influenced by those we spend our time with. We as humans desire belonging and connections with adults and peers and acquaintances. So positive reinforcement, encouragement and friendships within whatever you're doing with your life, whether it's, whether it's adhering to an exercise routine, whether it's changing your diet, it will enhance your motivation or if it's a negative relationship will hurt your motivation. There are lots of risks of isolation and on the other hand, there's so many benefits of social support. Studies have shown that social isolation, excuse me, and loneliness are associated with a greater risk of poor mental health and poor cardiovascular health. So if you are in negative toxic relationships, it's going to make it harder to be physically healthy. You're not going to be as motivated. You're not going to have people helping you along that journey. And there are, to to be a little more positive here, there are a lot of benefits um, to a network of social support. And these include improving the ability to cope with stressful situations, which, you know, especially now during the pandemic is incredibly important. Also alleviating the effects of emotional distress. So even if we are stressed, being around healthy, happy individuals will help us cope with and alleviate that stress in a healthy manner. Having these um, healthy relationships will also promote lifelong good mental health. It will enhance our self-esteem. It will lower cardiovascular risks, uh, such as blood pressure, which is great. And another important thing is that these healthy relationships will promote healthy lifestyle behaviors. It is important to have that support when you are trying to change to a more healthful diet, a more healthful lifestyle. And having those people in your life that don't tempt you with unhealthy behaviors will help you adhere to a treatment plan or some sort of diet. So if you are trying to switch to a more whole foods, plant-based diet, and you have friends who are coming in and trying to get you to drink and smoke and go out and eat fast food, cheeseburgers and French fries, then it's going to be much harder for you to stick to that plan that you're working so hard to find. And Aside from physical health, there are just so many benefits to relationships. We'll just be happier and we'll be more satisfied with our lives. We will feel the sense of companionship and social support. Our stress will be lower, which as I mentioned before, greatly helps our physical health. And our self-confidence, self-esteem will flourish, which is what we want in life. Um, We do need to be aware of negative relationships because they also influence our ability to cope with life events. If we're going through a stressful time and we don't have someone there to make it better, if we have someone there that's only making it worse, it's gonna be even harder to deal with stressful situations. Negative relationships also result in sleep loss, which we know is detrimental to our physical health. And like I mentioned, negative relationships increase health damaging behaviors such as smoking, alcohol, or eating sugary, processed high caloric foods. Um, Some tips for maintaining healthy relationships are to give time, you know, set aside time for family, friends, significant others, and be present. Disconnect from social media, disconnect from technology when you're engaging in conversation or activities with the people that are important to you. You're also going to want to listen, you know, be attentive, don't pass judgment, just as you would want someone to do for you. You want people who are going to listen to you, um, someone who's going to be honest with you and welcome support. And you also need to be able to identify unhealthy relationships. So included in this module, I'm going to link a video that I made called the six types of people you want in your life. It just talks about how, you know, you want someone who's going to be your cheerleader and, you know, your moral support. And um, so I definitely recommend checking out that video and making sure that you have 
someone or a group of people that fit into all those categories.